God, what am I doing? Just even hitting the button makes me feel scared. What have I done? <laughs> I'm actually like super nervous opening this. You know, if there's one thing you probably know about me, it's that I have just way too many Nintendo Switch consoles. But here's the thing. I don't have them all yet. <laughs> there's a ton of variant Nintendo Switch consoles that I didn't buy. I mean, probably because it was for a game I didn't care about. I mean, who wants the Fortnite Nintendo Switch? What am I, nine? But here's the thing. I kind of want it now. I'm dangerously close to having every single special edition Nintendo Switch that Nintendo has ever officially released. How bad can it be to just finish the collection? <sighs> We're gonna find out. And we're also gonna look at a bunch of really cool, super rare Nintendo Switches. There's a lot more than I thought. In fact, I recently made a video with a title that wasn't clickbait about me getting the rare... So I'm getting caught on everything. This Disney Sum Sum Switch. At the time, I thought this was the rarest Nintendo Switch, but I have since been told, been told. There's, there's one... one even, even more, more elusive. elusive. I don't know if we're even gonna find it on the internet today. So this website, consolevariations.com, has listed all the variant Nintendo Switches. We're not gonna get too insane here with specifications. I mean, for example, you have all the different region releases of the standard Nintendo Switch. I'm not doing that. So this is my very first Nintendo Switch that I got in Canada. All right, I've got my Switch. I got my Amiibo, which I didn't even realize I was getting until the moment that I was there. And I got my Zelda. I also have an American Nintendo Switch, which there's no difference between these two at all, really, other than the country I bought them in. So we're covered for the basics. I also want to say that I'm not counting the bundles. There's a lot of these bundles that came with like ring fit in it. The Switch is the same. I'm not counting that either. So this website doesn't go by release date. It goes by rarity score. What is apparently the least rare actual themed Nintendo Switch is the Animal Crossing New Horizons one, which I, of course, already have. The next one, though, I shockingly don't have the original Splatoon 2 themed Nintendo Switch with the green and pink Joy-Cons. That's the first one I'm gonna have to buy. It looks like this might be a Japanese one. I don't think it matters, but I would like to grab an English release of it. This one's only 270. It is technically it, and I said I wasn't going for region. I'm a little torn here. We have $550 for, I'm guessing, like, the US release of this. Or I could save some money and spend $270 and get the Japanese version, which is obviously a lot cheaper. I actually can't decide what to do. Oh, wait. The Japanese one doesn't come with the carry case. God dang it. That's the difference. That's what makes this one more special. It has a case. We're adding it to cart. That's the one. We're already $550 into completing my Switch collection. And we're on, like, page three of these variants. This video is sponsored, right? I put it. This is, yeah? Kim, I just got out the shower and lunch is here. Actually, lunch is here for the next several days. Because with Factor, it makes hitting your goals easier than ever. Yes, Factor is sponsoring this video. Winter is coming to an end, which means it's time to start getting into summer shape. I don't know about you guys, but I want to go to the beach this year not looking like this. So with the help of these guys, I actually go for the calorie smart options and each of these have like around 500 calories, which is perfect for lunch or dinner. You can also get veggie or vegan options as well as keto even. You just whack them in the microwave for two minutes and that's it, get ready to eat. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. And with like 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved meals, Factor makes it easy to have clean eating without the hassle. They also make these delicious smoothies and I absolutely love them. They are so good. They're only 120 calories. And if you want a pro tip after the gym, I like to blend them with a little bit of protein powder too. Big brain moves. Lunch is ready. If you want to get some Factor for yourself, go to factor75.com or click the link below. Use code FEEDEMUPS to get you 50% off your first Factor box. Now you don't have to plate it and it is a lot less mess, but I like to try and make it look good for the video, so.
I mean, look at that. That's so much food for 500 calories. So the very next one is the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu box. This was actually Kim's original Switch. I bought Kim the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Switch. And then I also bought Let's Go Pikachu and we played these together. I'm going to count this as both for now for the sake of my wallet. And other than the box cover, I believe it is the exact same Switch. That's a box variant at that point. And to be honest, Eevee's better. I have the better box. Red Mario themed. So it's another bundle console. This time for Super Mario Odyssey. It does come with a case, which apparently is something we're spending like $300 extra to get at this point. The Joy-Cons were a different Mario Red than the normal neon Joy-Cons. And even skipping ahead a little bit, when we got the Mario Red Switch, that was a different red again. So technically these Joy-Cons are a theme that I don't have. If I want to go for every Switch, this one does technically count. Out. Oh, why is this one 1500 on eBay? What? They do have some fun facts on these pages too. Apparently there was between 10,000 and 100,000 of this variant made, which is why they're somewhat easy to find still. Obviously not buying that one. 3,000 for that one. What is going on with this Odyssey Switch? Holy moly. Wait, what is this one here? It looks like everything is there and it's only $300. A little scuffed, just in that corner though. But at least I've got actual pictures here. The other one that I found just had a stock image and that scares me. I would rather save $200 and get the one that I can see pictures of. Woo! We're two in. Am I committing to this? Am I deleting the video? Am I deleting the file? Is no one ever seeing that I tried this? I don't know yet. Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah, I don't have this one. Out of all the switches that I don't have, this is one that I really want, actually. Woo! Thankfully, it's affordable. <laughs> $355 and I actually feel good. I actually feel like that's cheap. We're gonna add this to my cart then. Okay, things are spicing up. Things are getting tough out here. We immediately land in Diablo territory. I don't have this either. We're getting rare too. 46 rarity score. Only 10,000 to 50,000 of these were made. Many of these Switch bundles have a carry case. I never noticed. And... There's one for 385. We have the box. It's in there. Wait, what am I looking at here with those Joy-Cons? Those aren't what they look like. What is that? They're like red and blue Joy-Cons wrapped. Pokemon Sword and Shield skins on them that can be removed. You put Sword and Shield skins on a Diablo Switch? My guy, pick a lane. It is cheap. I don't want to have to deal with taking them off. So 425. And then they skyrocket. What are these people thinking? thinking. I gotta be honest, this has to be the most bland Nintendo Switch. I mean, it's just the dock, and the dock doesn't even look that good, and it's $425. That's the cheapest one I could find online right now that didn't have Pokemon skin wraps on them. This is, this is, oof. Don't tell Kim I'm dying inside. Let's keep going. The Smash Brothers Switch. Yo, this one's sick. So I actually have footage of me buying this. I found it in Japan. I wasn't looking for this Switch at the time. I was looking for a different variant that we'll get to. And I just happened to see this in a random store for really cheap. It was only a couple hundred dollars at the time. Normal, 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 normal. Already bought you. We got through a whole page without having to buy something. Yeah. Here it is. I don't know why when I click on this, it opens a tab for Wii U Black Ops 3 bundle on eBay. Oh, it's all in wrap. It's only 284. Brand new condition. Yo, yo, yo. I think we found a deal. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add to cart this bad boy. I think we crushed that one. Ooh. This is the one I was looking for in Japan. If you've seen my vlogs, there's a whole arc around my entire two to three week stay. This was my one holy grail thing I wanted to find in Japan. And I couldn't find it my whole trip despite looking constantly. And then right on the last day, somebody, as I was in the store, traded this in. I still can't believe how it worked out. But I love this switch. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, getting rare. Only 5,000 to 10,000 of this Monster Hunter XX console. It's not the same as the Rise. This is the other Monster Hunter game on Switch. Ooh, 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 what is this? Ooh, ooh, what is this? Ooh, it's expensive, but this one is kind of cheap right now. 329. Oh, that's Rise. Oh, and then these are expensive. Oh, no. Oh, it's Japanese. Wait, are they all Japanese? We might not have got an English one. Yeah. It only released in Japan. So we don't have to try and find a US release. 345. Lots of pictures of the console. Has the dock. I think this is the one. I'm going to add it to cart. Almost blacked out for a second. We're on page 9 of 15. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And got all of those. Good. We can move on to 10. Okay, so we have some good news and bad news. You remember at the start of this when I said that the Disney Zoom Zoom Switch was the one I thought was the rarest? It was only available in Japan. It's definitely a hard one to get, ranging anywhere between $400 to $650. But obviously the same price as a lot of the other rare Nintendo Switches we've been looking at today. But while that might be tied with some of the more rarer consoles we currently have, have in our cart, I had never heard of this Nintendo Switch until today. The Nintendo Switch Thunderbolt X Pokemon Project console. Now, as far as I can see, this is the rarest Nintendo Switch with only 500 ever made. We're gonna take a look at it in a second, but before we do, you might be thinking, if you know a little bit about rare Switches, I think there's rarer ones, right? Let's talk about these, because from here, the rarities jump up to what this site considers really rare, starting with this crude Nintendo Switch. They did a lottery at DreamWorks and they only gave away 40. Here's the thing with these though, they're either painted on or they're wraps. And if you look here, they're an unlicensed release. I love these and these are cool, but they're not official. So I'm not counting them. And as far as I can tell, this is the rarest time that Nintendo has released an official Nintendo Switch. 500 were made, limited sale in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan, Pokemon X Fragment Design Special Collaboration Bundled with Pokemon Case. It came with a case that looked like this. And then the Joy-Cons have a little Pikachu down here and a little Thunderbolt system over here. Now, when I saw this existed, I did look it up and I have scoured the internet. There are two things that I can buy. This one's $1,100. It has everything that came with it, which mostly just looks like like a regular Switch, other than this case that came with it, and then the Joy-Cons. The back of the console also says Thunderbolt Project. I don't really know what Fragment is. Uh, Fragment Japan. Oh, it's like a clothing store in Japan. It doesn't even look like they sell tech. It's literally like a hip clothing store. So they did a collaboration with Pokemon, and then I guess Nintendo and the Switch got involved. I'm kind of piecing the puzzle here. I'm not making a documentary about all of this, but they ended up making a Switch, and it's official. <sighs> I would like to see if any have been sold even recently. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised there's even one up for sale right now. But again, only 500 were made. I don't know if one will ever go up for sale again and if that one will even have the box. So, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, it, uh, it, uh. All right, everybody, that's the video. The video is done. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, <clears throat> that's it. That was just in case Kim was watching. Um, so now that Kim's not here. All right, so, um, oh my God, what am I doing? Just even hitting the button makes me feel scared. Oh my Lord. So from here, I'm pretty sure it's the wrap. There is an official wrap released by Nintendo, the Labo wrap. And it makes sense. I mean, cardboard, making it yourself. It's kind of cool that it is a wrap. Only 10 of these were ever made and they were given away in the creators contest. I think you had to make something by designing something in Labo. I've already looked and yeah, there's nothing for any of these online because there's only 10. And if you have one, why would you sell it? There's a yokai watch. One was made and I think the guy just like drew it on. Things like this, where they make a really sick dot. But again, that's the company. That's Oddworld Strange's Wrath just making a cool dock. We have one for Crash. We have one for Astroneer. Oh, this actually is sick. This is an official Nintendo release, but they only made four. The winners of the Splatoon 2 Fresh 4 Championship in 2021. I mean, that dock actually looks like a precursor to the Splatoon 3 dock we ended up getting. Unless you're watching this and you have one of these and you want to sell them to me, I'm never going to have it. This isn't going to go up for sale. By the way, if you have a rare Switch, hit me up. I'll make an offer on it, but I don't know how much you'll want for that. That is insane. I wouldn't sell it. So one of the rarest is this hob console. And what I actually really like is the research this website has done to uh, put me in the description for how it was given away, which I think is super cool. Only two of these were ever made. Giveaway from Panic Button, Perfect World Entertainment, and Wood Beat-em-Ups. That's really cool that I'm part of history on what is technically one of the rarest Nintendo Switches. Oh, wait, what was that? Pokemon Snap one. Licensed by Nintendo. Yeah, so this one, only one. Oh my God, only one of these were made. It was made by artist Machito Gomi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I don't know who has this one. Someone in Japan, I would assume. Really cool doc. I mean,
mean, dang. I wish. I think this is probably the actual rarest one. That then, yeah, yeah, that's so crazy. And then somehow the nut, and at least on this site, the rarest Nintendo Switch is this unlicensed Oreo Switch. It was given as a contest prize in Indonesia in 2020. And if you ask me, it is the most hideous looking thing. Again, I don't count this. I don't count a lot of these. Anyone could just make a wrap for a console and then give it away and then say it's one of the rarest ones. I mean, I could like paint a, a beat-em-ups console. I could do that and like give away like one to five of those. And then I would have my own rare Nintendo Switch console. I could, I could, I could. Anyway, all there is now to do is to buy them and then wait for them all to get here. Oh, wait, hold on, the OLEDs. I almost forgot the OLED because we actually already have them all. I already have the Splatoon one, we opened that. Oh, I have the Pokemon one. We opened that. Oh, wow. Ooh. I like the red. Oh, that I is like a the nice purple. And then there's two wraps that we aren't counting. The only thing I actually don't have from the OLEDs, apparently in Japan, there was between 10,000 to 5,000 Kirby boxes made. I didn't think I was going to get to find it for the video. And then just now it came up. So I can literally add this technical variant just like that for 30 bucks. Easily the cheapest one so far. It was to promote the release of Kirby in the Forgotten Land for Nintendo Switch. And that's it. Now I will have every Nintendo Switch console once these all get here. I mean, with obviously some exceptions that are unrealistic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does anybody else always forget that the light exists? So I already have three Nintendo Switch lights. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not about to buy all the colors of the Nintendo Switch light right now. I mean, that's a couple thousand dollars just getting colors, which is kind of boring. I have both Pokemon variants. It's so nice. And shockingly, those are the only variants that the light has had. There's been some bundles, but as far as reskins, that's it. Unless you count, and this is the only reason I wanted to mention the light, this super rare, only five made, licensed by Nintendo, this one technically is the rarest Nintendo Switch light. I've also looked to see if I can buy this, and I can't, because only five in the world have been made. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that, so we're good on Switch lights, I feel like. Okay, all right, shut up. Now, yeah. This is every Nintendo Switch. Well, actually it's half of them. The other half are on the shelf already. The stack is almost as... That hurt me in a place I can't describe. Okay, I'm very excited. I have a stack as high as a small child filled with Nintendo Switches. And I gotta be honest, there's been some drama. Quite a bit of drama, actually. In fact, I'm 90% sure after doing some research after buying all of these, that one of these switches are going to be fake. I haven't opened any of these, by the way, so I'm just hoping everything is actually in the boxes. I hear a lot of bad things about eBay. A lot of bad reviews on eBay just say, didn't get what I ordered. Just a box filled with ants, which depending on what you're buying, could be an affordable way to start an ant farm. There's gonna be a no particular order. I'm I'm gonna blast through some of these because I mean, a lot of them are just switches, right? But it is cool to think that after this, I would have unboxed essentially every Nintendo Switch on the channel. And I think I actually started with the best one of all. Everyone start doing your TikTok dances. We got Fortnite. I mean, really not bad. It looks like somebody had bought this and probably played with it. And I'm honestly not too worried about that. If anything, I'll take the memories. Thanks for the memories. But having said that, actually, this one is complete in its original plastic. So whoever had this, if they did play on it, took really good care of it. The Fortnite Switch is just a yellow and blue Joy-Con. The blue does actually have the battle bus on it. The yellow, I always see as like the banana. There's like a banana in Fortnite that you see a lot. So I feel like they could have bananaed this a little bit more, but all up, it is a cool color scheme. Oh, well, that's a surprise. I actually didn't know there was anything on the back. So on the back of this, we have a bunch of faces. I don't really recognize too many of, oh no, they're all Fortnite. Yeah, these are just the giant heads in Fortnite. This eBay seller is going to get five stars from me. I don't even want to interrupt that dock in its hibernation. It is so well packaged. Little peek, little peeky. It is a special dock. 
stock. All right, we do got to look at it. I actually didn't realize how all out they went with some of the design for the Fortnite Switch. So this dock also has the faces on it. More scattered of a design, but similar idea. I actually like this Switch. Good color scheme, good design. I'm actually glad I have this. Is that just the copium? Me trying to justify buying all of these? That's for me to deal with. Me and my therapist. Well, it's a big pink box. I feel like that could be clipped and used out of context. It's a Kirby box. Let's get into it. Let's look at it. This is all that it was. I think this one should have probably not even counted for the video that I'm making, but I actually like it. I actually think it was a good purchase. It's a good little bit of history, right? It's one of them things where someone comes over and they're like, what's the Kirby box? And I'm like, well, let me tell you, when Forgotten Land came out, this one place in Japan was selling blah, 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 blah. And then they regret asking. <laughs> This is the Monster Hunter XX Double Cross Nintendo Switch version. It's for the Monster Hunter that released before Rise. I believe we called it Monster Hunter Generations, maybe? I don't know these things. I just buy the Switches for them. <laughs> nice box. That could also be used out of context. Original packaging, although these look like they might have been opened and uh, closed a couple of times. So I think this one probably got used a little, which is, again, okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, used a lot, my guy. This screen has scratched a hole. Holy heck. There's a protective cover on it though, which I will take off. I gotta be honest, I don't even have a protector on my Switch because I used to put them on all my new Switches and then I was buying too many Switches and gave up putting a protector on every one because I always had little bubbles in them that annoyed the crap out of me and I never scratched my Switch anyway. Let alone this person who clearly put a protective cover on it so that they could go ice skating with it. As of now, I'm satisfied with this. I knew what I was buying, but it is something that's gonna be in the back of my mind now where if I see an imported Switch, collection somewhere or I visit Japan, I might be looking at upgrading this one a little bit. Oh, back to back Monster Hunter. That is sick. The whole entire art piece on the back. It's not ruined by any text or telling you what other games to buy. It just is completely unapologetically a Monster Hunter Rise Nintendo Switch and I love it. The front is also cool. A little bit scratched up. There's actually a big cut down the middle here. You guys need to treat your Monster Hunter Switches a little better. There's no screen protector on it, but it's perfect. And and the back looks unplayed. No smudges from fingerprints and a really cool design. All right, then we got the Joy-Cons. I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but they both look unplayed, unused, unsullied, as it were. And then lastly, the dock. Okay, it looks way better than the other one. Go flex and flames over here on the left. Monster Hunter Rise wrote proudly in the corner. Magnamalo, I believe is the name of this thing. On the right hand side here, really nice design. I don't know why this box is so big. Big. Oh, I didn't know this switch was so big. I guess it makes sense because this one has the carrying case in it. You know, it's funny since I've been making this video, they announced a new Nintendo switch. And I thought to myself, do I have to buy that now for the video? But it is just these joy cons. It's a repackage of this essentially. The only thing it does have technically is a sticker sheet. And I was wondering, am I going to buy this switch for the video just for a sticker sheet? Yes. No, actually, no, I don't. It is just this Switch repackaged. The box, by the way, is in perfect condition, it looks like. The Mario Red Joy-Cons, which I've actually wanted for a long time. They sold them separately, and I never grabbed them, and they got really expensive. It's a really nice color. I really like that deep, dark, like, blood red. And then here is the whole extra layer in this box, making it so thick for the carry case. And does not feel super quality, but uh, it's the official one. It's the carry case that came with it. I think all things considered, for these switches being kind of old and us buying what I thought was pretty much going to be all used. We're doing really well. It was a little more loosey-goosey in there than I would like. Oh, oh, oh. Probably my least favorite one of them all. I really have no emotional attachment to Diablo. I kind of hate that I even had to buy it. <laughs> It's a bit harsh. I'm just not a huge Diablo guy. I never have been. But uh, the box is really good. Really good condition. All right, the Joy-Cons are standard, which I find very boring. The back is also super boring. I don't know if it's because it's Diablo and like Diablo players or maybe, maybe they don't have fun. <laughs> That's mean. Maybe they just don't like flashy things. I don't know. Maybe they thought it was good to go super minimal with it. But we have this Blizzard Diablo case. It feels exactly the same as the Mario case. Not my favorite. 
Nintendo Switch by any means. Also a little bit of hair and dust in this dock. So the Switch, I don't think was used very much. It is actually very dusty. Clearly wasn't cleaned or wiped down. No surprise that a Diablo fan would, would not take care of their Switch, just like they probably also don't take care of their own personal health. <laughs> Why am I being so mean to Diablo fans? So we have arrived at a point in this video where it now has to become story time. As I sat down and make this second half of the video today, I said to you, I think one of these switches might be fake. This is that one. Many of you are probably sat at home right now, excited for me to get to what has probably been built up at this point as the rarest Nintendo Switch. As you saw in the first half of the video, I purchased one from eBay for about a thousand dollars. After reviewing the footage and looking closer at what I was buying, not really knowing what I was buying at the time, the dock was also missing. This dock in the picture, it's just a standard dock, whereas the actual Thunderbolt switch had a Thunderbolt switch dock. If I had known that at the time, I probably wouldn't even have bought it anyway, but that doesn't matter because the next day I woke up to an email from the seller saying they no longer had that switch and they had sold it in store that day before. They issued me a refund, but it left me without the rarest Nintendo Switch. I scoured the internet for days trying to find another one for this video, which is when I turned to a seller on eBay named actually forgotten the name offhand, but hopefully this was more dramatic anyway. They were selling a pair of the Thunderbolt Switch Joy-Cons loose. My first thought was, I really don't want to spend almost $300 on just the Joy-Cons to this thing, and be it any other occasion, I definitely wouldn't do that. However, I'm trying to make a YouTube video here, and I want to wrap this thing up in a neat little bow, so maybe I should go ahead and at least get the Joy-Cons to show. But then, as I had them in my cart, about to hit checkout, I got slapped with the stupid stick that was me about to buy a pair of rare Joy-Cons and not wondering the question, where's the rest of the Switch? So I reached out to the seller to ask why they were only selling the Joy-Cons and they said, because we sold the rest separately. Red flag! Upon further research, I looked back on their eBay history. They've sold these Joy-Cons in the past. Either you are an incredibly incompetent seller of merchandise or you're lying. And guess what? It was, there was the second one. They were lying. I found on AliExpress, you can buy the shells to this on console, making it very easy to repro fake ones. While I was looking at this same seller's rare fake Joy-Cons, I noticed it said you've purchased from the seller before. Uh -huh. I haven't bought anything from eBay in literally years. What is the chance of, oh yeah, I just bought a bunch of switches, which one was it? I also found some bad reviews saying that he sold knockoffs to other people. The thing is, he has mostly positive reviews, and it's because people don't know fake. And for me, even looking at these neon green and pink Joy-Cons, I probably won't be able to tell if they're fake out the box either. And I gotta be honest and a little less dramatic. This box isn't fake. There's no real shot that he's faking these. But they are selling fakes on their eBay, so chances are pretty good that these aren't real. They packaged the Switch upside down. Why? Already off to a bad start. All right, the Switch is fine. The third one to have a game case. And once again, it is the same as the last two. All right, we got that. We got that. We got the dock in there. At this point in time, I have no reason to think these aren't real. If these come up as the Splatoon 2 Joy-Cons, I'm gonna call it good. I mean, I don't think you can fake that programming, but again, we're going through so much work at that point just to fool me on Splatoon. Yeah, pair to green and pair to pink. This switch is as real as it gets. Okay. That's all of them, other than the one. This rare one of 500 Thunderbolt X Pokemon Nintendo Switch has become quite the holy grail disaster. As you already know, that first seller canceled my order. And after scouring the internet, all I could find were those fake Joy-Cons. No matter how many different times I looked for this thing, no matter how many different ways I entered it into Google, nothing had any results. The only evidence I found of someone even owning this thing was two people on the internet have made videos on YouTube. And out of sheer desperation, I even reached out to one of them to see if they wanted to sell 
seller for this video. Their name was Gaming Boulevard, and they were really courteous, and I had a nice conversation with them on Twitter, but they, of course, didn't want to sell it, which, of course, I completely understand. I thought the trail had ran cold, so after days and almost giving up, I thought to myself, what if I went to Google Image Search and looked up the console? I don't know why I had this thought, but as I was scrolling through, an image popped up of the console that I hadn't seen before. I clicked on the photo. Sure enough, it took me to a website called Curated by Charbel. It's a website, as far as I can tell, owned by one guy in Australia selling t-shirts and clothes and accessories and handbags and that kind of stuff. And they just so happen to also have the Thunderbolt X Pokemon Nintendo Switch. I only found it by going to images of the console. But I messaged them and after going back and forth and them sending me all the pictures I wanted to see of it and then even haggling with me and adjusting the price quite a lot to get it down to what I was unfortunately willing to pay. They agreed they would ship it express. Actually, initially, uh, I thought I was getting scammed because I paid them and then it didn't make it cross the border and it got sent back to deliverer. And I was like, oh, here we go. But it was because it has three batteries in here, the switch and the two Joy-Cons and the limit for shipping internationally was two. We had to do a little bit of a don't tell Uncle Sam. I can't stress enough how nice Created by Charble was. I want to shout out their website as well as their Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's just an independent ran business out of Australia, selling mostly clothes and accessories. But hey, if there's anything on there you might want, this is not sponsored by them. I just, I want to say thank you. So feel free to grab something. Okay, I have Kim here helping me film this because I got to be honest, if this thing isn't real after everything I've been through, I'm going to need my emotional support wife because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be okay <laughs> I'm actually like super nervous opening this I mean even if it's real I'm nervous just to see it good thing I was really careful cutting into it because there is no padding right here my guy I would have ended the video <laughs> So, okay, so this is one of 500 Thunderbolt Project by FRGMT and Pokemon Nintendo Switches. As far as I can tell, this is the third time someone's even done this as a video. Let me take a look at the whole box. Initially, this looked like a very boring throwaway box to me. I thought it was just a basic black box. I didn't even realize it's actually a Nintendo Switch box. It is this. It's the same thing. Like, it's just black. So he said that this was new in box. I don't know know if that was true, but I asked him to go through and take pictures of everything. So he said, if I do that at that point, it's not new in box. And I'm like, that's fine. Okay. I love them so much. And maybe it's because of how hard it was to get them. But the Thunderbolt fragment logo here on the left, and then the Pikachu logo here on the right. So this was really early on when the Switch released. So it's just a variation of the first Switch with some nice little designs down here. I'm hoping that this is new. It looks pretty new to me. So the back says Thunderbolt Project again by Fragment and Pokemon with a little Thunderbolt logo down here. The case that came with it, this is a full bundle, just like the Splatoon and Mario Odyssey ones that we looked at already. And it's the same case as those ones too. It's the same build, same quality. So I can't stress enough, out of all the rare switches we were looking at online that were just like skins and stickers and all of that stuff, this was actually officially released by Nintendo. You can't get anything rarer than this console-wise unless you start diving into like those really rare Splatoon they only made four for tournament winners, which obviously unless a tournament winner wants to give it to me, I'm not getting. And then the dock, which is also special for the same reason, the Thunderbolt logo down here and then the Thunderbolt project riding at the top. I'm 100% convinced this whole thing is real, obviously. If you're trying to get one of these and you don't know what you should pay for it, your dear old pal Wood here would like to thank today's sponsor at this video because he ended up paying $3,000 Australian for it. You know, I've been so hyper-focused on getting this and how cool it is that it's what makes it even cooler is that it is Pokemon. It could have been anything. It could have been Nintendo Labo themed. It could have been Splatoon. I'm trying to think of like the most random thing possible, but it just so happens to be Pokemon and a clothing brand. That is me buying not only the rarest Nintendo Switch that there is that you can buy, but every single Nintendo Switch. So now when someone asks how many Switches does Wood have, you can tell them all of them. F***ing all of them.